My journey has included many roles from translation of stories for kids to interpreting at uh, uh, national conferences and simultaneous interpreting and uh, I've done a lot of teaching at different universities as well. Uh, and I've always been passionate about languages and their roles in connecting people and I thought becoming an examiner would be a way to give back you know, to that community and uh, also help professionals out there who are interested in working as interpreters or translators. And I think becoming an IT examiner has been the pinnacle of my career and I'm really proud of the work we do. Uh, I've done a lot of mentoring and coaching along the way with different interpreters because I really do believe it's my obligation to give back to the community and also to grow and develop Auslan interpreters in this space because there's such a demand. And I've done a lot of video assessments in the past. As part of my training at the post-grad diploma at Macquarie University, we used a, a tool online called Elan, which allows the viewer to assess videos of Auslan signers and assess their work using rubrics. So a lot of the work that I did there, I, I felt that those skills were transferable over into this space working with Nati. I believe we need to look at a candidate's performance overall and see how their interpretation measures up to Nati's rubrics. Also how it measures up to the expectations of the deaf community and that has changed a lot over the years because deaf people now have access to secondary and tertiary education so their expectations have increased. But, uh, and then if we say that a candidate hasn't measured up to a particular task, we have to provide evidence. Well, of course, first responsibility is uh, to mark the tests. And at the moment, we're marking a translation tests, CT, we're marking inter interpreting tests, CPI, CI, and CCL. And um, another responsibility is uh, to develop new test materials for all these four kind of tests. And of course, you know, seminars, professional development, uh, which provided by Nati to the examiners and um, uh, a lot of materials which you need to go through because uh, the rubrics are changing, the tests are changing, the condition of tests are changing. So that's, in a nutshell, the responsibility of the Nati. Go out and meet as many deaf people as possible before ever you sit a NATI test. It's no good coming to from a, an institution course or a community course and saying, I sign quite well, I'll try for NATI. You must have the whole variety of Auslan as it's used in the community in your toolkit before you sit a test. My advice to future candidates would be to approach the certification with a strategic mindset and start by thoroughly understanding the NATI rubrics and the NATI standards and the specific requirements for the exam you are taking. Familiarize yourself with the rubric, thoroughly read it and understand what's asked of you and all the criteria and the band descriptions and practice with a variety of test materials and focus on where you need more improvement. Uh, my other suggestion would be try timed translations and or mock interpreting you know, simulation uh, if you want to sit the CPI or the CI test. And finally, I would say, uh, most importantly, approach the exam with confidence and trust in your abilities. Uh, first of all, I'd say seek out a mentor and then have a short-term and a long-term plan. Outline your goals, ideally one to two years. And think about the different things you need to consider to brush up on, uh, discover your strengths and weaknesses, and utilise the resources on the NATI Learn portal because there's so much there for all candidates and interpreters to have access to use and some of the practice materials as well. First of all, if you decided to uh, see the test, NATI test, please go to the NATI website and uh, have a look at the requirements. Have a look what you must do, what you should not do. And second, if you failed the test but decided to see the test again, please read examiner's comments. That will help. Mm -hmm.